Hi everyone. Our first DIY is going to be Cousin It from the Adams Family. And I will be using this little scarecrow as a stand for him. First, I'm going to tie back the arms. I will also bend down that part that's poking up at the top and tie it off with twine as well. And I'm going to leave the long ends of the twine after I tie it because I will be using those shortly. I will be using this child's hula skirt or luau skirt from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to open it up once and wrap it around towards the back. And it has a piece of twine on it and I will use that piece of twine along with the long end of the twine that I initially wrapped the little scarecrow form with to secure it. You can see one is not enough, so I will attach another one using the same method. So now that I have both on, I will cut the bottom of it to match the base. For Cousin It's hat, I will be using one of these party bowls from Dollar Tree. And I cut a round piece of poster board, black poster board. And then I traced out the top of the bowl. I flipped it upside down and traced it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. I didn't do the best job of cutting it out and you will see in a minute. It does fit over but I cut it a little too large but I'm still going to go ahead and use it. I'm just going to attach it to the bottom or to the top of the little plastic bowl flipped upside down and that's going to form the brim of his hat. Now Dollar Tree does sell those kind of bowler hats or whatever they're called that Cousin It usually wears in the movies, but they are way too large to use for this little form, so I had to make one myself. Now I'm going to bend up the ends of it, of the poster board. And then I will take it outside and spray it with this Rust-Oleum Matte Farmhouse Black Spray Paint. I will paint the top and the bottom. That's how it came out after it dried. Initially, I was going to use this black glittered ribbon to go around the hat, but it was a little too stiff, so in the end, I ended up using black felt. For our next DIY, we're going to make a crystal ball and I will be using this DIY snow globe kit from Dollar Tree. It comes with this stopper which makes it waterproof and it also has this screw on cap. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it upside down. I'm going to set it on the base on the cap to keep it steady. This is cotton balls that I just pulled apart. You just pull it apart like this, just loosely until it looks like that. And you will also need some glitter. You can use whatever glitter you want to use. I chose to use an iridescent white glitter. Now I would recommend not putting glitter at the bottom first, you'll see why. Then I added the cotton and add a lot of cotton. Add more glitter. For this whole snow globe, I just used one of these little packets of glitter. And then I added some food coloring to just plain tap water. Whatever color you want is fine. And I added it until the water went to the top. And you will see that the cotton absorbs the liquid and it goes down a little bit. So I ended up having to add more cotton to it until it was full. Then I added the waterproof stopper to the top. Make sure that that is completely secure. And then you can see that big glob of glitter that I added. So I'm just shaking it up to try to distribute that more evenly. But you could already see the really mystical look coming through our little crystal ball. Now I will be using this candlestick holder from Dollar Tree. They had those last year. 
The cap doesn't really sit well in this candlestick holder, so I will just be placing the crystal ball in just like that. And you can see that it has a better fit. And I'm going to shake it up more to get rid of that glob of glitter, but just to give you a close up of how the crystal ball looks. And you could always add more glitter or different colored glitter, whatever you would like. For our next day, I am going to spray paint the base of two cloches in the same farmhouse black. Now for the top of the cloche, I want to make a handle. So I will be using one of the Heidi Swap numbers that come with this little light cap. And that's what I'm going to use for the top of the cloche. For this part, you will need to have on safety glasses. And then I just used a pair of pliers to clip away the bottom. And I tried to get it as flat as possible. Then I rubbed it against some 100 grit sandpaper until it was smooth. And you can see the sandpaper did a great job. I just added some hot glue to it and placed it right in the center. And there is a little circle there so you can see where to place it. And it looks like it came with the cloche. For the Eye of New cloche, I will be using this light up yard stake from Dollar Tree. It is solar powered, you just need to pull that tab. We will be doing some clipping again at the bottom of the garden stake. And again, we're going to get our safety goggles out. And be careful, the plastic can crack a piece of the plastic cracked on mine, but it didn't break off. I rub it against the 100 grit sandpaper once again and it does smooth it out. I hot glued the piece down that popped up. Now I'm going to take the bottom of the cloche after the spray paint has dried. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and glue the eyeball down into the center of the cloche. and the top will fit over it. I used one of the little chalkboard signs and wrote out Eye of Newt, and now we'll use a little bit of hot glue to hot glue it down to the base of the cloche. And that's how it turned out. It does light up as well. For the second cloche, I'll be using this little collapsible, squishy black cat. And the ears will fold down like that once it's inside the cloche, which is absolutely fine. I don't have to glue the bottom of it because it's such a tight fit, it will stay in place. So you just put the cap of the cloche or the top of the cloche down over the little cap. And there you go. I wrote black cat magic on one of the little chalkboards. And again, I'm going to hot glue it to the base of this cloche. And now they both are done. For our next DIY, we're going to make some LED burlap jack-o'-lanterns using these fabric treat bags from Dollar Tree. I took two of them out and they are rather narrow. So I have these LED candles that I picked up from Walmart and there was no way that it was going to fit in there. And I was disappointed, but I decided that I would have to do a little surgery on the bag. So I cut it down the middle, hoping that I could slide the candle inside, but it still would not fit. 
So I cut a triangle out at the bottom. And the back end of the little jack-o'-lantern will be exposed, but from the front, you cannot see that at all. So I used a little bit of hot glue to secure the burlap to the candle, like the tiniest bit of hot glue. I tied the top with the jute twine that comes with the treat bags. Then I glued down the two pointy ends at the bottom. And be sure to leave the on and off button exposed. And that's how it turned out. These LED candles, like I said, are from Walmart. They are $2 and they use three AAA batteries and they also have a six hour timer. So I just went ahead and repeated the same step for the second LED candle. You could also use these to line your stairway or a windowsill. I added two of the adhesive bats to the top, and this project is done. For our next DIY, we're going to make some framed spider webs using two of these mirrors from the Dollar Tree. And I just remove everything, the backing and the mirror as well. Now I'm going to take these two different mesh from Dollar Tree. One is purple and black, the other silver and black. I believe it also comes in black and gold. Using a bit of hot glue, I just attach the mesh to the back of the frame. Be sure to pull it taut so that it does not sag once it's complete. Now I'm going to use the little detail scissors to cut away the excess mesh so you can't see it from the front. And the first one is done. And I'm just going to repeat that for the second frame. If you like the video so far, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to pull the mesh taut as you're gluing it down. Cut away the excess so it doesn't show from the front. And this is how they look so far. You can hang these up on the wall, but I want them to stand up, so I'll be using two of these wood plaques from Dollar Tree, painting them black. While they dry, I'm going to take these two spider rings. I'm going to cut off the ring part and hot glue it down to both frames. Just that easy. Once the wood has dried, I'm going to hot glue it down to the base. This particular frame has more points of contact to add the hot glue than the second frame. So I'm just going to add glue where the frame will touch the wood. And for this frame, it only touches the wood in a couple of spots. So I added glue there and then I reinforced it with more glue in the back. Now I'm using some of these glass vials from Dollar Tree and I filled them with silver and black glitter for the first frame. For the second frame, I filled it with black and purple glitter. 
and I'm just using a dot of hot glue to attach them to the base. And now these framed spider webs are done. Let's see how everything turned out together. For Cousin It's glasses, I just bought a pair of children's sunglasses from Dollar Tree and hot glued it to the front. I also added a little spider to his hat. I added a black LED candle to the middle of each base of the framed spider webs, and in low light, it gives the spider webs a lovely glow. Here's our eyeball lit from the solar power. and you can see your future in that crystal ball. I hope you guys enjoyed today's projects. If you did, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. And if you missed any of my previous Halloween DIY videos where I made some of the other projects that you see in this video, check the description box below for links. These two little ones wanted to say hello. I hope you all are taking care and are safe and well, and I will see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.